Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hello. Today we're starting Final Fantasy 16 as it just released on PlayStation 5 today. I haven't played Final Fantasy in a long time. The last one that I played and enjoyed was 12. I did try all of them since then, but I didn't really like them and so I just kind of cut out before I even finished them up. So, yeah. I, um, I've been hearing great things about this one. Apparently this series has grown up. It has a lot more mature themes to it, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. I'm looking forward to checking it out. We're going to hop in, make a new game. I am playing on performance mode, as I just prefer higher frame rates, and, you know, I'm expecting that the game is going to look decent either way, so I want some extra performance out of it. Let me see who's in chat. I see Mega Phoenix, Steve, Toro... Buddy Love, Girth Brooks, Srebov, Jan, Cosmic Kitty, Buddy Love, Disabled Gamer, Roranoa, Terry Rose, Setheroth, Cupid, Greybeard. What's going on, folks? What's up, Ugo? Welcome back as well. Mythic Blue, Winter, Silink, Richard, Lorena, Urban is here. Sunny G, hello. What's up, RBM? Thank you all for tuning in. What's up, Owl? Strato Aeon, hello. 12 is the last good one. Yeah, that's my mindset as well. Agamemnon, hello. Let's go ahead and start this playthrough, guys. I'm going to do my best to not speak over the cutscenes, but keep in mind that it's Final Fantasy, so there's probably a million very long cutscenes. So, you know, I might make small interjections here and there, but overall, the cutscenes will take the forefront, uh, the, the foremost uh, priority, so that way everyone can see and hear what's going on. Let's go ahead and get started. What's up, Alvarez? Hey, Screamer. Let's go. Hey, Robert. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, we're going for frame rate over graphics. Very much so frame rate over graphics here. Subtitles on, text language, voiceover language, all English. Very good. Visual alerts. We don't need them. We are going action focus because we're, you know, uh, the story is still going to be there. It's just a matter of, you know standard equipment just kind of giving ourselves the the more difficult start i don't know how difficult this game's going to be but it's final fantasy so you know i i don't expect it to be too insanely difficult um yeah let's go let's do it thanks egon it was moss the chronicler who said that the land of alistia is blessed in the light of the mother crystals that it was this light which finally led our forebears out of the darkness. Yet, what they saw in the light gave rise to temptation. Temptation that ever lures us back into the crystal shadow. And thus did our journey begin. Oh, I have control now. Fireball! Fireball it! I am a phoenix, apparently. Hello? Yo, Rajan Chopra, thank you for gifting a membership to Steve. I appreciate it, dude. It's very kind of you, Rajan. Thanks, man. R1 is evade. We are evaders. We are fireballers. I don't see health bars, so I'm a little concerned as to, concerned as to what's happening, what kind of damage I'm doing. I dodged early. I panicked. Classic me. Hey, Avalanche. Hey, Hadia Lee. What's up, Josh Smith? Bitnova, hello. RBM. PC available in December. I do not know when it's coming out on PC, unfortunately. Hey, thank you, Stealth Panda. Oh, 
bro. Year of the Realm 873. The Nysa Defile. The Dalmacan... I didn't, I didn't get to read it. <laughs> Light soon. Both camps have begun to stir. You all know the target. Shiva's dominant. And only the dominant. No one else. Where's the fun in that? How do we even know the girl will be among them? Our kind do not question orders. We follow them. Try to keep that in mind. Let's get this done. All right, Bren, thank you for five gifted members to the community, dude. Egg. Thank you, man. Focus, Wyvern. You are key to this mission's success. Yes, Sergeant. Did you call me Wyvern? All right, we have control of our character. Uh, Bren, thank you again for five gifted members, dude. I really appreciate I it, dude. Focus, thank you so Wyvern. much. That's a big sword. All right, L to move Clive, right to move the camera. Yes. Very good. Main menu, pause at any time outside a cutscene to open the main menu. Mm hmm Gameplay configuration settings, including camera, blah, 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 blah. Yes, very good. We don't have time very good. What's up, Tish? Hey, Colton. What's up, Gerald? Mr. Nate, hello? Gently to walk, fully to run. Okay. That makes sense. Cosmic Kitty, hope you're doing well as Just well as Winter. Come now. Marshal, the King of Walud is our guest.
And you have his majesty's answer. summoned us at all. Have you so little faith in your own men? It was the Dalmex who drove back the Crusaders in the Battle of the Twin Realms, was it not? Or am I mistaken? Besides... Your dominant has yet to take the field. And when he does, our knights would only get in the way. Perhaps you have not heard, but the Iron Blood now have their own dominant. We would be fools to underestimate them. Bugger their knights. What did you say? Should this citadel be allowed to fall? The capital will lie exposed. And I doubt the Crusaders will wait for the good king's pawns to line up before taking to the board. <laughs> Which just leaves me. Trubka! The Iron Blood will rue the day they set foot on Storm. This game is over. You cock. <laughs> Benedicto. <laughs> take care. Does the lion take care when he chases the hare? Or do you think me one of the latter? No, my love. You are a lion. You're my lion. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a little frost, Benedicto. But I will need someone to warm me when I come home. <laughs> the front lines are gone. This is our chance. The chaos will conceal us. I joined at the wrong time? No, no, Ali. You joined at the right time, my guy. The perfect time. <laughs> Steve, thank you for the, the membership message. Smash that like button, y'all. And thank you, Josh, for streaming the new game. I'm so pumped for Final Fantasy 16. Thank you, Rajan, for the membership. Yes, thank you again, Rajan, for the gifted membership to Steve. And yeah, Steve, thanks for tuning in for it, man. Thanks for tuning in for it, dude. Thank you all for joining me today. Thank you all for coming to hang out with me while I check out uh, the new Final Fantasy game. It's been a long time since I've played Final Fantasy, like I said a few times. But, uh, you know, I've been hearing great things about this, so I wanted to check it out. Give the franchise another shot. And quick and deadly, as always. <sighs> Take the van. Wait. Something's not right. Titan. So the 
Tarmax finally grew tired of being slaughtered. Ha! And look who's here to greet the bastard. Come on. Alright, so uh, we have like attack on Titan stuff happening out here. Holy jeez, man. Southern, thank you for 16 months of membership. How you doing, Josh? Hello, everyone. I'm doing great. How are you? Thank you for 16 months of membership, and thank you for tuning in today. Hello there. What's up, Louis? I'm sorry, Louise. All right, the ground is shifting here. I don't know if I should be moving on this, but here we go. Van? Yeah, they said van. I don't think they mean like like a minivan or like a Dodge Caravan or anything like that. <laughs> Hey, Barge. you before you do not get to die here Brother. hey fern is that the fern Clive. what's up it has been a while Clive. if it's the same fern that is shield there's always work for you in the stables unless of course you think you can defend your master while sat on your ass in a puddle of pig swill i'm sure he'd find a way my brother always how's the volume guys <laughs> right go on 
You're sure to hit him eventually. Don't give up now. <laughs> Alright, I turned it up, Mel. Thank you for letting me know. Two arms. It wouldn't do to disappoint the gallery. All right, combat Let's tutorial time. Come. Show me your form. No, show me your form. Attack the Lord Commander. All right. Press square to perform a melee attack. Up to four attacks can be chained together. L1 is lock on. Do I have to hold it? Nope. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Once more, please. All right. Big success, dude. Very good. Such swordsmanship will serve you well in the field. But can the same be said of your spellcraft? The flames of the phoenix burn within you. Now let them burn without. Come, Clive. Rain fire down upon me. <laughs> hey, man, please burn me. Land a fire spell five times. Triangle to cast fire, a ranged spell that can strike enemies from great distances. Excellent. Okay. All right. Well done. Yeah, I turned I turned it up a little bit, but flames just as a first shield should. I'm concerned about like during the cutscenes when things get really loud because uh, it gets pretty loud at those times. Can be arranged. Let's see if you can elude my blade. After all, your attacking prowess will count for naught if you don't live long enough to use it. On your toes, Lord Rossfield. Stay quick on your feet. Evade four times. R1 to evade an enemy's attack. You know, you guys already know I'm going to press the wrong button for this so many times. I'm going to press circle to dodge, and it's not going to go well. Evading an attack at the precise moment it is dealt will temporarily slow the enemy, making it more susceptible to a counter using square or triangle. Good. Move only when you must. All right, so we found the precise window. Very good. Yeah, I'm happy you're here, Fern. It's Remember, great. It's good to see you. Your blade is not your only weapon. Quickness of thought and fleetness of foot are indispensable arms in any shield's arsenal. But you are not just any shield, are you? Show me what sets you apart from the rest. You have been blessed by the Phoenix, granted the use of its power. Call upon that power now to close on me. Are you well, saying I get like a lunge or something? Close the gap. Iconic feats. The blessing of the Phoenix grants Clive the ability to perform feats of inhuman strength and dexterity. Phoenix shift is one of icon is one such iconic feat. Press circle to swiftly close in on a distant target. Both melee and range attacks can be used while executing a Phoenix shift. Alright, that's kind of cool. Yeah, the combat's not turn-based in this one. Hope to escape every blow. And death may come by a handful of cuts as easily as it comes by a thousand. There is only one way to ensure that you do not fall. Keep your wounds mended and your energies replenished. Speaking of which, my lord, you seem a little worse for wear. Now that won't do at all. Hey, I had a hard time sleeping, all right? Listen, dude. That's insulting. Consumables, consumable items such as potions and tonics can be used to restore Clive's HP or temporarily boost attributes. Consumables can be assound, assigned to the D-pad via the items tab in the main menu for quick and convenient use. These items can also be used directly from the menu. All right, let's potion. Let's potion again. Nice. That's better. Battle is a succession of pivotal moments. 
wherein life and death can be decided at a single stroke. You must be ready to utilize every tool at your disposal if you are to navigate a path to victory, or at the very least, to ensure that you live to fight another day. Enough practice. It's time for the test. You've recovered from your soaking, I trust. You wouldn't want to kick a man while he's drowned. I thought we'd never ask. Come then, Lord Rossfield. Spar with me. If you believe yourself worthy to be called Shield of the Flame, then prove it. As you wish, my All right. All right. Guys, do me a big favor if you haven't yet. Leave a like on the on the stream for me, so that way YouTube will recommend it to more to more folks. I appreciate it, guys. Strength. All right, it's time to fight this guy. He talked enough uh, enough smack. The will gauge indicates an opponent's will to fight back. Break their spirit by landing attacks and strike them when they're vulnerable. Ah, a stagger mechanic. Okay. Go on. You're sure to beat him this time. You can do it, Clive. Just stay calm. You're taking this seriously. Keep going, Burn him. Clive. Oh, I just tried to press circle to dodge. I already did it, guys. I already did it. Okay, we took him down. Nice. Staggering your enemies. Lord Murdoch's will has been broken, leaving him staggered. Try dealing as much damage as you can before he regains his senses. Use R2 plus square to execute Rising Flames, a powerful iconic ability granted Clive by the Blessing of the Phoenix. Oh. Oh, it's on a recharge now? Got it. I can see the uh, the attack on the bottom right of the screen. Well, it's time I took my own advice and used all the tools at my disposal. Yeah, you should. Keep pressing. Just a little more. We believe in you. You're a damnably quick. Alright. Oh, I like that little that little end combat chime there. That's nice. He won! See? I told you he could do it. Aye. Bested at last. It's taken me long enough. That was a display worthy of your father. You are a true shield of the flame and let no one tell you otherwise. Including me. What are you lot gawping at? Back to your drills. What's up, Biggie? What? I was just tired. Oh. The Phoenix's flames <laughs> are a gift. You mustn't waste them. It isn't a waste. My shields look after me. Why shouldn't I? <laughs> That's why. You were coughing this morning, too. You shouldn't be outdoors. I'll be fine. It's just a cold. Don't push yourself. His grace has returned! Father's back! Hey! <laughs> Your Grace, please, uh, this is no place for one such as you. I would gladly brave hell itself to see my darling boy. Gentlemen, Rosaria thanks you for your indefatigable loyalty. Thank you, Your Grace. We live to serve. Joshua. You should not be out of doors. We have discussed this. I'm sorry. Good day to you, Mother. Come, 
Joshua. Your father will be expecting us. <sighs> Lord Murdoch? Your Grace. Right. Uh, beep beep bomba jeep. I got level 100 on my necromancer last night. I've had plans to play this on release for a long time. Not everyone can be born the Phoenix. We should join them. Everyone's so good looking in this game? Yeah, typical Final Fantasy. What if the entire world was beautiful? Joshua. You are well, I trust. Yes, Father. Much better. Today, Jill and I went to the bay to watch Clive spa. Is that so? Quiet, Toro. Stop it, boy. Not now. You'll make a fine hound one day. Father. Lift up your head, girl. Thank you, Your Grace. The capital rejoices at your safe return, Your Grace. War is coming, my boy. We must make ready. Is the situation truly so grave? Come to the throne room. We will talk there. Yes, Father. Your Grace. Shields dismissed. Where do you think you're going? Hmm? Clive here is off to see the Archduke. Right. I wonder if Torgal is a good boy. I have many questions about the dog. Many questions. Finding your way. Should you find yourself lost, do not fret. Hold down L3 and trust in your animal instinct to point you in the right direction. Your current destination will be displayed with a red icon. Is trouble brewing? I'm not sure. I need to speak. Uh huh. Preparation. Uh huh. Well, let's go. Let's go check it out. What's going on in here? To the throne room. They've closed the gates. Ah, oh, classic. Hope the side entrance is still open. Hey, come to the throne room, but the door's locked. So, you know, find another way, dude. It's fine. It's fine, man. Ah, we have items. We have loot. Useful items can be found across their own by those who know where to look. Items discovered can be viewed in the items tab of the main menu. Let's get this stuff on. Right. Any more items? I'm not gonna lie, I have no idea what I just picked up. I did I I'm sure it popped up on screen, but I didn't see it. <laughs> Good as near. Uh, 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 Forgive me, Lord Marquess. Pray do not concern yourself with this bungling car. 
bow to him, you fool. Uh, I, I, Did I say to speak? It was no trouble, really. Oh, do not indulge him. To be allowed to stand in your lordship's presence is more than his kind deserves. Why, neither the Empire nor the Republic treat their bearers half so well. He was lucky to be born in your father's dominion. Very lucky, as I remind him every day. Stand, please. Stand. I trust his good fortune will continue. Of course, if that is your lordship's wish. Don't work too hard. Remember, it is for the good of the duchy that you serve. As do we all, my lord. As do we all. As do we all. Come along now. Back to your duties. Yes, yeah, so we're at the very beginning of the game. I didn't get a chance to play the demo because I was a little, uh, a little involved with Diablo 4. <laughs> All right, we carry on. After an awkward confrontation over an apple. <laughs> I think someone's hungry. Huh. Can you imagine if that were to happen in real life? Just a crystal that gives infinite water. And you know, I had to go this way because it's not the main path. And of course, there's loot up here. So I'm going to grab that. This is mine now. High potion. You know what's really great that I like already? It grabs the item for you automatically. You don't have to press a button. You just walk near it and it's in your inventory. Love that for us. Love that for us, we guys. Down again, that is nice. Nice and quiet in here, isn't it? There's Joshua. Hey, I'll be right with you in just a minute. Let me just look around for loot, as one does. You know, I, I will already say something. Like I'm, I'm enjoying the graphical... Uh, I, I guess the atmosphere, the aesthetic of everything going on is nice. I enjoy that a lot. But something that I'm already noticing, even outside of combat, is it definitely is dropping way below 60 FPS. Even on performance mode, so that's kind of a letdown. Clive? Hi? Are you worried about the war? The soldiers will expect the Phoenix to help them. I don't know if I can. Don't worry, Joshua. Father will guide you. And I will protect you. Always. I know. Thank you, Clive. Motion blur makes you dizzy. I'm not a fan of motion blur either, but there's no way to turn it off. I looked in the settings. Yes, I already know of this. Um, I looked in the settings earlier and I saw nothing... Oh my god, dude. Gear and icons, yes, very good. Even the system has a tutorial. But yeah, there's no way to turn off the motion blur. At all. So that's that's also a letdown. Child is the future of our nation. That's also sad. Is there any loot out here? I don't see any loot out here. I think we just carry on. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. I see something back here. Loot! You'll get 60 FPS in combat designed that way according to Digital Foundry. Yeah, but the resolution's gonna tank instead. Yeah. Ugh. Making an effort, some large gates and stiff levers require extra effort to operate. Use X to access them, then hold R2 to push or pull with all your might. Do I also need, like, 13 hearts? <laughs> Do I need, like, 13 hearts to open the door in, like, in Legend of Zelda, or what? 
Happy birthday to Venus. Happy birthday, dude. Good luck. Oh, that's a good boy. Commanded my presence, Your Grace. How may I serve you? All right, you can stop licking my boots. Your mother isn't here. Do the territories fare any better? <sighs> Most lie under a pall of black. In just these few moons, the blight has taken nigh on all of the northern reaches. It is only a matter of time before it crosses the border. By the flames. Nearly every available bed in the capital is already occupied by those fleeing the Deadlands. Even if we were to send them south to Port Isolde, more would only follow in their wake. Every day we delay brings us closer to disaster. We must move now. Against the Iron Kingdom. We have traded blows with them for too long. It is time to end it. At the very least, we must secure Drake's breath. Without the blessing of the Mother Crystal, we cannot defend our realm from the spread of the Blight. The Iron Blood will not relinquish it easily. This will be a bitter fight. We ride for Phoenix Gate tomorrow. There we will listen to the words of our ancestors, as tradition dictates. Am I to go with you as Joshua Shield? There is something else I would have you do first. Rodney. You will have heard the reports, I am sure, of beastmen from the north being sighted within our borders. Goblins in the Stillwind Marshes. I know of the rumors, yes. Then you know what must be done. I will give you two good men. While we ride north tomorrow, you will journey to Stillwind, search it, and clear it. Then you will join us at Phoenix Gate. It is time to prove your strength. And shut your mother up for good. Hmm? <clears throat> I will do my duty, Your Grace. That will be all. Rest well. We ride at dawn. Yes, Your Grace. Okay, active time lore. Hold the pad to access the active time lore feature, a compilation of important information relevant to Clive's current storyline progression. ATL can be viewed during most cutscenes. All ATL entries can be accessed later in the game. I can't access them right after the cutscene by pushing that down, though. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's, let's, let's take a look. Rosalith Castle. Let's see. Situated in the heart of the ducal capital is Rosalith. It is from this towering ivory fortress that the Archduke and his family rule their nation. An architectural feat the founder himself would be proud of, the castle has stood since the early days of the duchy and watched over the rise of this proud nation and the people who inhabit the city beneath. Nice. Grand Duchy of Rosaria. A nation occupying the western reaches of the continent of Storm with Rosalith as its capital. Rosaria was originally formed from a collection of smaller dominions, all of which now stand united under the banner of Archduke Elwyn Rosfield. Not possessing a mother crystal of its own, the duchy has been locked in a bitter conflict with the Iron Kingdom over possession of Drake's Breath, which lies still further to the west in the midst of the Boiling Sea. Elwyn Rosfield, Archduke of the Grand Duchy of Rosaria and father of Clive and Joshua, loved by his people for his steadfast leadership both at home and on the battlefield, which he put to good effect in quelling 
quelling rather the rebellious northern territories. Something that is a little bit weird to me is why, what, what, what's with the mom? What's with the mother being such a downer for Clive? What's with that? Don't answer that question. I'm just talking out loud about lore. Uh, the Mother Crystals, enormous glassy mountains, five of which tower over the lands of Valisthea. They are the source of all the crystals that the people of the twins rely on for their everyday lives. Not only that, but the lands surrounding them are rich with aether, making the magics the crystals cast even more potent. For these reasons, great nations have sprung up around each Mother Crystal and have long warred with each other for possession of their blessings. And then the Iron Kingdom, also known in the local tongue as Haran, Aeron? Not sure how to pronounce that. The Iron Kingdom is an archipelago nation situated off the west coast of Storm, with its capital at Craig Lois. The capital's at Craig. Nice, dude. Craig? The Mother Crystal Drake's Breath rises from a volcanic island situated just within or without its borders, depending on whom you ask, and has been the subject of long standing conflict between the Iron Blood and the neighboring Duchy of Rosaria. The Iron Kingdom's inhabitants shun any contact with outsiders, which has given rise to a unique, if largely inward-looking, culture. All right. Lore. We have lore. Uh, do I go through this door? No, that door does not open. All right. I was just, I was hoping that maybe we could just kind of open it up. I can't open that one up either. Okay. I guess we go up the stairs over here. Mother Crystals, Mommy Gems. Yes, Mommy Gems. Mommy Gems. <laughs> Pass the duchy to the left-hand side. Ah, <laughs> mm, ah. Uh, uh. Hello, friend. What's up, Juka? Josh, hope you're doing well. How long will you be away this time? Not long. Four days, maybe five. And you will be taking Joshua? Well, I can't exactly leave him behind, can I? The blood of the Rosfields runs in his veins. Before going to war, we perform the rite at Phoenix Gate. It's our way. You know that. And only the dominant can enter the apothecary, so yes. I'm taking Joshua. Oh, to hell with your way! The boy is ill. You think I don't know that? But the boy is also the phoenix. The heir to the throne. You can't keep him in swaddling clothes all of his life. Elwyn! Don't worry. Clive will watch over him. Though he is a youth of but 15 years, He's already a fine soldier. He will make a splendid shield. You see more in him than the Phoenix did. He was rejected, Elwyn. Our household has no place for such a failure. He is worthless. A man like any other. Ah. I see now. As am I, my dear. <laughs> Nonsense. You are the Archduke of Rosaria. Oh, not this again. You know as well as I do that I only sit upon the throne because my father was taken before his time. I am merely warming the seat till Joshua comes of age. You are your father's firstborn son, and you sit upon the throne. All is in its right place. Unlike some, you have not disgraced our noble blood. Without men like Clive to keep us safe, your precious noble blood would long since have graced the gutter. Rejected. I'm going to sleep.
this is it then. Time to prove yourself. Wishing on a star? I'm a little old for that. I should get some sleep. Right. You're going with them tomorrow, aren't you? I am Joshua's shield. I'm sworn to protect him. He takes too many risks. I only wish I could save him from himself. Clive, you... I have another mission too. Father has given me my first command. Well, if you're not going to pray to Metia for your safe return, I shall just have to do it for you. It's Final Fantasy, Louise. It's always filled with cutscenes, especially at the beginning. There's going to be another war, isn't there? Since coming here, I've begun to take peace for granted. I assumed the war between our nations would be the last. But it never really ends, does it? No. The next war will be bigger than before. But you'll be alright, won't you, Clive? You're a shield of Rosaria, after all, and blessed by the Phoenix. It's getting cold. We should go in. My lady. Good night, Clive. Sorry, Ambrosia. We won't be hunting today. Don't worry. I'm sure you'll do brilliantly. Mm, I'll try. <laughs> Phoenix Gate. May the blessing of the crystals go with us and shield the fireless flame forever. His grace departs. Open the gates. Rossfield, allow me. I shall see her safely to Phoenix Gate. Thank you. The boys. We're ready to depart, my lord. May I say what an honor it is to serve alongside you. This 
is to be no mere investigation. If there are goblins in Stillwind, they won't leave willingly. The beastmen are a fierce foe. We underestimate them at our peril. Not today we won't. Sir Wade, Sir Tyler, let us do our duty. With pleasure, my lord. As you command. To the marshes, then. Time to uh, have some goblin murder, I guess. All right. All right. Okay, so just based on the fact that this has a map like this that we need to choose our areas, it looks like it is not open world, but it'll have, like, open zones. The world map displays all the locations indicated by glowing pins currently, of the currently available to Clive via fast travel. Yes. Still wind we go. Use different uh, adjectives to describe games that you might not like, Commando. That'd be great, thanks. Keep your eyes open for those goblins. The reports placed them in this area. It's all swamps from here. Watch your step, my lord. <laughs> and everything else. Okay. Swamp goblins. Lost in a fog. Feeling overwhelmed? Try equipping one or more of the five timely accessories. For example, the Ring of Timely Strikes allows its wearer to chain complex attack combos only using square. The Ring of Timely Focus slows time during an, before an incoming attack, allowing for an extended evasion window. As with all items, timely accessories can be equipped and unequipped in the gear tab in the main menu. So I just have these things already? I just, I just have this stuff? Well, I guess so. Okay. Slows time so we can evade. When equipped, Clive will automatically evade attacks as long as the attack can be evaded. Oh, it just automatically evades? What the? When equipped, complex ability combinations can be executed by simply pressing square. And then when equipped, Clive will automatically use a potion when his HP falls below a certain point. Potions will be used before high potions. Right. Let's throw on timely strikes there. It's interesting to me that all this stuff is just readily available. I didn't have to find these. They're just there. That one. I don't like the idea of automatically healing, but let's just go with those two. Not exactly the most well-maintained path, but who do you imagine would maintain it? Different paths in this game. I've seen someone else play this from the beginning. It was entirely different. Um, you might have seen like stuff that is after the demo. Wild chance because they played the demo already. There's a lot left of it. Or as I have not, for example. Are those are, are those of the easy mode? Because I don't I don't have story mode activated. Is that what those are? That's a little confusing that they don't really properly explain that. They just like, hey, here's some gear. Go ahead and use it. Cheat item? Okay, yeah, I don't like that either then. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna un unequip these. Very good. Very good. The male characters look so feminine. Why? I mean, Commando. I don't know, dude. It's just it's just how a lot of JRPGs are, man. You like it or you don't. Don't dwell on it. With me. And obviously, it practically does it for you. I mean, still, there should be a deviation and explanation for that, nonetheless, Talon. They explain virtually everything else. 
They can explain that too. Magic Burst. Use triangle after striking an opponent with square to conjure a magic explosion that deals significant damage. Okay. And dead. Goblins. So the reports were true. We should press on. There may be more ahead. Okay. Nothing else in this small area. Let's go. Let's -a go. Watched Asma Gold play and he was playing much older than your character. Yeah, that's because he's already played the demo. He's beyond that demo point. This is the very beginning of the game, whereas he has already played it, essentially. That's why. Yes. Yes, yes. I did not play the demo the demo because I was spending all my time playing Diablo. I wanted to get my character to level 100, so I just skipped out on everything else Welcome until this game officially it. released. Care, Plus, I'm kind of... This may be a hot take, but I kind of like... like when, I, when I play a new game, I want to play it all together. I don't want to play a demo a few weeks before the game comes out and stuff. You know what I mean? That's just... Uh, I've always done it that way anyway. There's more. Okay. I mean, they literally explain loot. <laughs> they, they can explain the other stuff, too, if they're going to explain loot in a video game like this. I just press circle to evade. Damn it. And that's fine, Commando. Take it easy, dude. Another potion. Happy music just to murder some goblins in swamps. Yes. A little bit of something to get you through the uh, the murky swamp action, I guess. Uh, this is where I came from, right? Already went in there. X, not square. I'm the same. I don't play demos a lot because because a lot changes by then. Only select games where I'm, when I'm not 100% I try the demo. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Insufficient inventory space. Potion used. Oh, okay. I guess that's kind of nice. It automatically uses it for you. That is a nice quality of life thing to have. Instead of having to manually, manually use one and then pick it up. It just kind of automatically does it. I can't break the boxes. Zero out of ten. A strength tonic. Nope. Okay. Do not do not jump because you'll just fall off the ladder. <laughs> Watch out, my lord. Some of their number of spells. And what a number. We'll all have a hands here. Ah, I press circle to dodge again, man. That's going to be really hard to get over for me, guys. That's going to be so hard to get over. Ouch. monies manly use one to pick another one <laughs> one up cough d4 cough exactly exactly <sighs> another potion automatically used can you remap them possibly 
possibly. But I'm the type of guy that's really stubborn, and I just want to get into the controls as they are schemed, just so that way I do it the way they intend to. We should be nearing just to kind of gather my thoughts around controls as well, because if the controls are clunky, then they're clunky no matter what. That's the way I look at it. But this right now is just a matter of me adjusting. We'll get there. Sneaky sods. We're trapped. My lord. I'm working on it. What's the plan? Uh, kill them? He's the leader. I will have to take care of his followers first. Care to thin the herd? Okay, dude. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, come here. Let me just circle this. There we go. It's interesting when you like when you when you feel like when you feel yourself internally struggling with what button to press for what you want to do and trying to overcome that. Always interesting to experience. Oh my god, what an absolute unit. Here it comes. Is that a godskin noble? Formidable foes. Larger enemies must be faced with caution. They have far more HP than their smaller counterparts and will often use devastating abilities to overwhelm their opponents. Use their Blessing of the Phoenix to not only deal considerable damage to these enemies, but also break their wills. Breaking an enemy's will can stagger it, leaving it unable to act and vulnerable unable to act and vulnerable to attacks. Alright. All right, I failed miserably already. Sick. I pressed R1 that time, but it was way too late. I'm trying to do perfect dodges, and it's not working. <laughs> Oof. Too early that time. All right, we got the, the dodge that time. Partial stagger enemies will become partially staggered when their will gauge is reduced by to 50%, creating a short opening in which combination attacks are easily landed. The big stagger. Hitting them while they're down, completely reducing an enemy's will gauge will stagger it. Extra damage is dealt when an enemy is fully staggered, increasing with each strike landed up to a maximum of 150%. The total amount of damage dealt during this time will be displayed upon the enemy regaining its senses. Okay. Not bad. The big swing. Oh, he's spinning to win it. I pressed the wrong button. It's fine though. We're doing great. We're doing great. Kill him in the dick. I did it, guys. I killed him in the dick. Nice.
Nice. And we got a level up too. Are there slow strength weapons and fast dex weapons you can choose from? I do not know. I just started. I do not know if there's other weapons yet. I have no idea. Okay, battle rewards. Following important battles, a separate results screen will appear displaying battle performance and rewards. Rewards are based on performance and may include items, gear, ability points, and experience points. All right, nice. Hard leather armlets, van braces. Nice. Nice, dude. What's up, Yoon? Yes, RBG, that was last night's. Come back and fight, you coward! After him, before he summons the rest. Gear can significantly improve player attributes, but only when equipped via the gear tab in the main menu. Similarly, the right abilities can turn the tide of battle, but only if learned and mastered via the abilities tab in the menu. Mastering existing abilities, as well as learning new ones, requires ability points, which are earned in battle or by completing quests. As is the huge. Let's put on some uh, some some armor here, guys. Ten armor for that. Ten armor. Let's look at abilities. Ability points can be spent in the abilities tab to acquire new abilities as well as upgrade existing ones. If you are unsatisfied with Clive's current build, reset all abilities and try again as there is no penalty for doing so. Detail of each ability and feat can be viewed by selecting its icon. Sword indicates an ability's capacity for dealing damage. Stars indicates an ability's capacity for breaking a target's will. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Magic Burst. Alright, triangle after landing a melee attack. I have been doing that a little bit. A little bit of damage, a little bit of uh, break. I want something with a lot of uh, a lot of will break. Is that a thing I have going on? No, I guess, I guess not right now. Executing a perfect dodge. It only increases evasion effic efficacy, but also allows for counterattacks using square or triangle. I don't have enough ability points to get that straight up. Oh, the, that, that's for mastering. There's new stuff down here. Right. Duh. Pay attention. Hold square to imbue Clive's blade with fire. Release to unleash a powerful attack. I like that. Square an X in the, while in the air to slice down. I'm going to get the fire, dude. Let's get that. Now, does this launch them in the air? It it kind of looks like it launches them back. I was going to say, if it launches them in the air, I can get this to combo with it, but... Yeah. Square and X to swiftly close in and attack a distant enemy. That's, that's, that's a lunge already that we have. Hey, Aqua, what's up? That's a taunt. R1 to recover immediately after being knocked down. Yeah, we need that. X while in the air to kick off a nearby enemy, increasing jump height and duration. Yeah, let's try that too. Yeah, charge the ability. Very good. Maybe we just unlock everything, man. Hold on, 40, 30. I can't get everything right here right now. Let's get the slice down. And let's get this. R2 in the pad, though. That's a weird combo, right? That's a weird combo. There he is. Where are you going? Come here, man. Damn it. Ah, he was waiting to use that one. He was waiting for that. All right. I don't see any loot around, so let's keep going. All that time and he barely ran. This ends now. I 
Thanks for joining us, Lady Pinks. What's in there? Ah. Okay. It's myself. Keep clear of its maw, my lord. That thing's breath is worse than its bite. Okay, I dodged a little late, but it's fine. I dodged so early there. Shoot. And I got hit by the bad breath. Absolute classic. Okay, so I'm trying to hold square to get this uh, fire sword going, but it's not working out. I don't know why. Where's it going? Your guess is as good as mine. Oh, the big suck! No! Cinematic Strike. When the screen flashes blue like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press square before time runs out to deliver a devastating blow. Ah, so we have quick time events. You guys know how I feel about quick time events. Not a fan. There's the fire. You gotta hurt it, hold it down a really long time. A really long time. I got greedy. Here comes the big suck again. Cinematic evasion. <laughs> when the screen flashes red like this during a pivotal moment in battle, press R1 before time runs out to evade the incoming attack. Now for the final push, my lord! I don't know about this. I think 
we made it angry. I'd rather we made it die. Glad I got out of the way of that. Oof. Ideal. Yeah. Smacked it. Nice. Nice, dude. That burning blade's a little slow. Hopefully we can speed that up in the future. What's up, Gray Fox? Weren't they always called Marlboro, though? Yeah, I'm not sure why they call them Morbo in this. Or more ball? I don't know. I mean, you know, it's the same idea, I guess. When's Diablo 5 out? Yeah, give it another decade. My lord. Thanks. I never thought I'd see it. Not just goblins in Rosaria, but more balls, too. I'll petition His Grace to send a detachment. Hey, Corrosive Love, how you doing? If we don't stop them here, they'll be at our gates before long. We should get moving. We don't want to be caught out here after dark. If we set off now, we can still reach Phoenix Gate before nightfall. So I... Oh, we'll, we'll talk after this cutscene. Hold on. Morbol was his name. He came in peace. I Death believe you. Light. <laughs> All right. So on to the next area, it looks like. Make for the Phoenix Gates. Yes. So real quick, I, um, I can see that they use those, like the cinematic quick time events for transition phase of the fight in a certain way, which I think that's okay, but I still don't like quick time events in general. I would rather there, there just be like a quick cinematic trading of blows than having it some type of like interactive just for the sake of having you, the player, press a button to press a button. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, I don't like quick time events at all, and they definitely devalues those moments for me, but the combat itself is good. I'd rather just play the scene without, you know, the pause for the pressing of a button. That just, that's lame to me. Suddenly, thousands of red eyes. No, wait till you hear this. Wait till you hear this. His lordship draws his sword. The goblin chief runs off screaming. Straight down a Morbo's gullet. <laughs> more, more tales! Drink and be merry, boys! Work on the morrow. Must be gratifying to see your student making such a name for himself. The young lord has a bright future ahead of him. Aye, and one of these nights he may even deign to join us. <laughs> <laughs>
father. Just a little tired. Well, it has been a long day. They all like Clive, don't they? Hmm, aye. Your brother will be a fine shield. We're all very proud of him. Father? Why is it that the Dominus is always born into our family? Doesn't seem fair. We cannot live without the blessing of the crystals. And the crystals work their magic through us. You have been blessed, Joshua. Blessed to be a dominant. To wield the power of an icon. Our family has been chosen to share that power with the people. So that is what we must do. Jill, she'll be wondering where you've got to. So much for you being a fine hound. So this is where you've been hiding. What are you doing out here? I didn't see you at the feast. Feasts are the only time shields are allowed to take their ease and... I've never really been one for cakes and ale. It's the vegetables I don't like. <laughs> I hear you slew a marble. All the men were singing your praises. They never used to. When I joined the ranks, everyone thought I was a spoiled little lordling. If I didn't know how to handle a sword, I'd be a laughing stock. The Archduke's firstborn failure. You're the one they really believe in. I'm jealous. That's not true. They don't believe in me. They believe in the power of the dominant. My brother the Phoenix, ruler over life and death. It isn't fair. It should have been you. I don't have what it takes to lead our people. I don't have the strength. But you do. Every man has his duty. Ours was decided long ago, when our ancestors chose to instate the Dominant as the Archduke of Rosaria. All to ensure that whenever our nation stood on a precipice, the Phoenix would rise from the flames to drag us back from the brink. The fate of Rosaria sits on the Dominant's shoulders. It is your duty to bear that burden. What about you? I was born to be your shield. That is why I was given the Phoenix's blessing. 
to keep our future ruler safe, no matter what, however hard it gets. I'll never let you down. Thank you, Clive. I know you'll always take care of me. <coughs> Before I can do that, you need to take care of yourself. Right? I should go inside. It's past my bedtime. Good night, Torgal. And <laughs> Torgal's a good boy. Supplies from the capital. Took your time sampling the wearers, were you? <laughs> it's a good job the North is full of enterprising traders keen to keep us in wine. Spare a for the boys and Oh. What in the. Hey, Team Morts, how you doing, man? Gateway secured, Captain. We proceed as planned. We have some assassins, I guess. Forgive me, my prince. It's me, Wade. You probably don't remember me. I remember. What is it? We're under attack. I don't know who they are, but they've set light to half the castle. I must get you to safety, your highness. Very well. I'm ready. Follow me, your highness. Yeah, it's mostly story so far, Brandon. Typical Final Fantasy, lots of cutscenes, setting the scene, all that. Flight of the Fledgling. Oh. We're playing as Joshua. I'm playing as me. Oh, I can attack? Oh, okay. Uh, attack, magic, curaga. Jump, evade, lock on. Okay, cool. We get to cast some fire spells. Hell yeah. Yeah, Rob, Final Fantasy's kind of grown up, right? How have you been, Timorts? I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. What's up, Night Hunter Nix? Nice to see something new. Diablo seem to take forever. I mean... It's a, it's a grindy game like most Diablos. Two yes, weeks is actually you. not bad. Well, welcome back. Everything's on fire. Fall back, your highness. He's not one of us. Have this one. I must do my duty. 
Okay, that looks like it exhausts me a little bit. Hey, nice job, dude. Nice job, man. So it doesn't look like I get a lunge on this character. So I got to move in really close for the basic attack fire spell. This one. There is no lunge for me. Yeah, nice kill steal. Yeah. <laughs> Have this. Very nice. Smack. Smack. You know, this guy keeps killing my, or, yeah, killing my kills, like, stealing them from under me. Come on, man. Taking all the experience, dude. Hold on, is there something down there? I should go look. I should look. What's up, Scarecrow? All right, nothing down here, okay? Had to be sure, man. You never know. Hey man, do you like fireballs? Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, it's a great combo. It's a great combo, dude. My big fireball, his axe together, it just one two punch, you know? Hey, that's the other guy from earlier. Kiraga him! His wounds are deep. I can save him. Your Highness. Don't worry. You're going to be all right. What's up, Leo Shah? How you doing? Nice, Scarecrow. Thanks for joining us. I understand, Team Mort. It's good to see you today, man. Hope the settling after the move has been going on right for you. Ah, Clive. Clive! Joshua! Come here. Tyler, you're hurt. I'll survive. Thanks to his highness. Your Grace, Lord Murdoch. You rescued the young prince. Well done, Sir Wade. I am in your debt, soldier. Thank you, Your Grace. We cannot stay here. We should make straight for the rear gate. On the lost Alan, to a son Gelif. May the winds speed you to Rosalith. Was that a headwig? The north gate up ahead. There are chocobos in the stables. Father, take Joshua and get to safety. No, I'm not going without you. You're supposed to be my shield, remember? I remember, which is why I'm going to hold the enemy here while you make your escape. I will order our remaining forces to rally at the gate. Now go. <laughs> I 
I will do my duty. You must do your duty too. I... I know. You have to keep Father safe. I'm counting on you, Joshua. What's up, feels? So far, so good, man. I'm enjoying it. Stone skin tonic. Oh, hey, guys. Let's get rid of that guy real fast. Oh, I just pressed the wrong button. Use square just as an opponent attacks to parry the strike, temporarily slowing down time and leaving the opponent open to a counter. Square. The same button as attack for parry? All right. All right, man. I guess we're uh, we're getting a parry on the same button as attack. I don't know how to feel about that, but it is what it is. Where's good boy Torgal? That's a great question. That's a great question, man. What's up, Simba? How you doing? The armor looks cool. That mage dies first, guys. Let none escape. There's parry now. I can As like the game. Are. True. You take care of that spellcaster. I'll keep the others occupied. Ouch. Oh, kind of brutal. Let me, let, me, let me practice a parry here. Okay, I failed miserably. Do it again. Uh, I failed miserably. Do it again. Okay, yeah, I think he has to be focusing on me for it to matter. That's them done. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm great. I'm fine. It's my father and Joshua I'm worried about. We should head back. What the? Hey, look out! May I have this dance? Knight of the Blinding the Dawn. Dragoon. And you are the shield who was blessed by the Phoenix. Not that it will save you. Oof. Wow. I'll be fine now. Oh, he counterattacks very quickly. I like it. Ah, I gotta watch for that counterattack, man. Staggered him. Oh, 
Nice. Don't you run away from me. What the... Big damage. Okay. Oof. You're going to regret that boy. Am I though? Oh, he's doing it twice now. Aha. Ah. Oof. Oof. Broke him down again. And that was kind of a satisfying finish there. Nice. Nice. Are you hurt? I'm fine. So, they sent in the Dragoons, Imperial Vipers. Do they really mean to invade us? Not yet. Their numbers were too few. They were not here to take the castle. They were here to take heads. Our work is done. We should return to my father. My lord, look. We issued these sashes but yesterday. In Rosalith, if they were already among us, what if there were others? Father and Joshua are in danger. We must hurry. Take your steed. What is that? Goodness. Your Grace, is everyone safe? For the moment. We ride for Rosalith to rally our forces. I will need your help to see Joshua safely back to the capital. On you get Joshua. I'm sorry, Your Grace, but that won't be possible. Oh. You are on the snakes! Stay back! I'm warning you! Run, Joshua! Run! No! Let's do 
lost control. I have to do something. I have to save him. No, my lord. Fall back. Climb! Joshua, are you in pain? Ah! Uh, not now. Come on! You're his shield. Do your duty. Save him. My lord? What the hell, man? Clive is an icon this whole time? Or a dominant, rather? He has an icon? Alright, so this is all the way back to the beginning of the game that we just played. Also, Simba, to answer your question, I'm enjoying it so far, aside from the quick time events that happen sometimes during fights. I am I, I just really dislike quick time events. I always have. I would just rather see something cinematic rather than a pause in the moment for for just pressing a button or two. But outside of that, the game is good so far. I'm enjoying it. Alright, we gotta aim and fire. We dodged. We are dodgers. Precision dodge. This is where Gandalf fought the Balrog. Back to firing the fireballs. And we're dodging. Where'd you go? Come here. Burn him. The music is glorious, by the way. Where'd you go? Come here.
Got some great effects going on here. A very atmospheric fight. world is collapsing around me here. Where'd you go? I felt the FPS chug on that one. I made a promise to my brother. <laughs> Love my inner synthesizer. <laughs> That was a big hit. Nice. Ah! Alright, back to fireballs. Hitting him with so many fireballs, I can't even see him. All those particle effects. <laughs> Alright, that wasn't a precision dodge, but a dodge all the same. What's up, Gara? Damnation? Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. Job's done. Icon of Fire down. Hayati, I don't care if it's Clive or not Clive. Do not reveal stuff like that in my chat. Thank you. Allow speculation and storytelling. Thank you. Oh my god. He's still punching the bird.
Well, damn. That was kind of brutal, right? a mess that monster made. Hey, Hawkwind. And shame about the phoenix, but can't be helped. Oh, my condolences, Your Grace. Is there aught we can do? <laughs> Haven't you done enough, Captain? Joshua was my world, and now he is gone. I can only pray there will be a place for me in the world his radiance seeks to create. I see. Your Grace, over here. The rubble must have protected him from the worst of the flames. Shall we take him prisoner? No need for that. Kill him. What the hell? It's your own son. Wait. As my husband never tired of telling me, he is a fine soldier. I'm sure he would make an excellent addition to the Imperial front line. All in its right place. This one. Well, found where the uh up, lad. You're going to be a soldier. Found where the treachery began. Joshua. Is that where the demo ends? <laughs> Title card. Damn man. That was uh that was a lot. Ah, now he has the mark on his face. Thirteen years later. Has Final Fantasy always been this raw? No. No. Welcome back. Sorry. What's our situation? Let's just say Shiva and Titans little spat hasn't made things any easier <laughs> no and it's as you thought the crusaders have sounded the retreat then we follow we're down a man sergeant if we return without Shiva's head, our fate will be no different from Biast's. I'll take my chances with the Iron Blood. At least then I might die fighting. After you do, that is. I won't be dying. Not today. Yeah, we can't Phoenix down those two no maids dying. now. <laughs> now, if you don't mind, we have an army to chase. Trophies, oh my god. Alright, a chance encounter. New iconic abilities. Scarlet Cyclone and Heat Wave for the Phoenix are now available for acquisition and upgrade on the abilities tab in the main menu. Do not forget that once acquired, new abilities must be equipped in the gear and icons tab. How do they expect us to kill something that could... Let's check it out. 
Phoenix Shifts, Rising Flames, Scarlet Cyclone. Ooh, I like that. I like it. Okay, um, abilities. We do have some ability points. What of the fire sword thing? Can I level that up? I have just enough to master it. Let me try it out. I don't know what it means if I master this. If it just does more, maybe it's faster. I don't really know. It doesn't say here. It just says that it's mastered. We did it. Everyone's clapping. Everyone's clapping. We mastered the fire sword. Oh, yeah, that is faster. Oh, that's much faster. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, we can actually throw that in for combos and stuff. All right, guys, I'm going to take a quick break. I have to pee. I have to pee, so I'm going to do that real fast. When I come back, we'll continue the story. In the meantime, thank you guys for tuning in. I appreciate your company. Thank you for leaving a like on the video as well. We just about it. We're just about at 250, which is nice. Thank you guys for doing so. I will be right back. Don't go anywhere. All right, I'm back, guys. I am back. Let's go uh, this way. The only way we can go. Looks like my evening is shorter for a while. Thanks for joining me for it, Crown. Hey, Persephone. Kind of missed the turn-by-turn -turn fight system. It's been a while since I completed a Final Fantasy game. I mean, I like turn-based combat as well, but, I mean, there's a lot of turn-based combat games out there already that are, you know, both JRPG and non-JRPG. So there's there's definitely other places for hell, that still. Do you think a retreating army and their dominant will fare any better? Where's my green tea? I'm not drinking nearly as much of it right now because I'm making some major shifts in my uh, day to day life. So. By the flames. Thanks, John. I did not, Ryan. The Echo of Lilith, I'm going to have to really work on my build to do. I might, you know, I might change things up a little bit here and there and, you know, continue working on it. But for now, I'm uh, just kind of moving on towards other games like Final Fantasy here. And I might do some Diablo in my downtime. Did you hear that? Down there. What's all this? Thank you, Simba. So, Titan has knocked the fight out of our Iron Blood friends. Where are the rest of them? That can't be the main host. Wait. King Pat, Bidler. Our fortunes have turned, Sergeant. It's her, the dominant. Are you certain? The crystalline Orthodox is a backwards faith for a backwards people. In the Iron Kingdom. 
They teach that dominance are unclean aberrations, born of blackest sin. Only their priests are allowed to perform the rites of priming. And I see many. We end this quickly. <laughs> Yo, Gera, they were five gifted members to the community, man. I appreciate it. Thank you very much, dude. I forgot the controls already. There we go. Oh, I missed completely. I didn't get close enough, man. Feels bad. Oh, yeah. How dare you? I am pressing the wrong button like crazy here. Much appreciated. Circle is not dodge. Brother, relax. Oh, I actually parried it. All right, Shiva's dominant here is very, uh, very painful. That's so much better now. Holy. Blizzaga. damages dude I'm really bad at this game holy I dodged into it instead of backwards. Not ideal. Come on, men.
Okay, ja. Yeah. Frozen Tear. Some material of some kind. We got some potions back, some steel silk, more materials used in crafting. Okay. I don't think so, Southern. I just think she's wearing priestess clothing. Maybe. Is she dead? I don't think so. Well, what are you waiting for? It does look a lot like her. Maybe it actually is. Okay, yeah, it is. Do it then. Ooh. Oh. Fuck. We've got company, Wyvern. Get your ass over here and help me with these bastards! I'm sorry, Jill. We go again. Oh hell yeah. I know her. Know her. Look around you. You just can't even animals there. I need you here. Again, Wyvern. Take her head so we can be done with this. Are we about to fight this out? I, I can't. I won't. You would betray the Holy Empire? Betray? I don't recall ever pledging allegiance to your Emperor. My service may have been bought with this brand, but not my loyalty. I just fight to survive. Do you think I don't? The Empire will have our heads if we return as family. So if you won't take hers, I'll have to take yours. I missed! I'm not decided. I'm not dying here today. And neither is she. Let's find out. I missed again! Damn it, dude. Yeah, the combat's getting smoother for me. It's just a matter of learning the controls. From the front lines. Who trained you? Who gave you a name when you had none? You speak as if we don't Oof. bear the same brand, Sergeant. I've always had a name, and I've not forgotten it. Still clinging to the past like a torn blanket. Then Damn you it. will die, as you should have 13 years ago. <laughs> I 
I tried to parry. It didn't work so well. <laughs> All right, potion me, man. Potion me. Come here, buddy. For nothing. No one. And I will not fall by your hand. Are you sure about that, Tiamat? Have some more fire sword. And some more. Want another one? Okay, I, I just got really bad at dodging for a moment there. It's fine. I'll take your head. All right, my mistake there was trying to parry that. <laughs> hey, bud, come here. Have this. Have this one, too. And this one. By a traitor's blade. Got him. All right. We did it. Y rights used in crafting and meteorite also used in crafting. <gasps> <laughs> there, there's more. Torgal? This way. Uh, Bloody wind. Well, come on then. Is that not Lorath's voice? In Diablo 4? Chasing the hair? I expected more from the mighty Titan. You put the Ice Queen on her back, no doubt. But you'll have to work harder if you're to claim this price. We'll be hearing more soon enough. You always were a fucking snake, Sid. Gather the men. We have work to do. Same voice actor? Yeah. That's, that's cool. Man's been busy. What's up, Eric? Jill. I'm enjoying it so far, Ronaldo. 
Is it really you? And who's this fine hound I see before me? A fine hound who saved your life, that's who. Torgal. Hey. His name is Torgal. It is Torgal. Well then, you won't mind taking him off my hands. Funny. I'd always pictured you as more of the chocobo type. Clive Rosfield. Come now. Fleet as flame, fierce as a wildfire. That there was the blessing of the Phoenix. I'd heard rumors that you'd survived, but I never paid them much heed. <laughs> Calm down. I didn't come all this way for your handsome mug. Now her, on the other hand, she seemed worth muddying my boots for. Aware. Still, might be best to get a second opinion. Back her up. No. Oh. Not another step. <laughs> I mean it. Well, I'm not about to leave her here. Not one with a warm bed waiting. It's all right. You're welcome to join us. You do want to help her, don't you? Uh, Sid, if we aren't back soon, none will have our heads. <laughs> I'll explain everything once we're back at the hideaway. Come on. Torgal's always been a good boy. Now he's an absolute unit of a good boy. You are here. Please go here. So why is it even giving me the option? I mean, I guess just to just kind of give us like a look at the map to see where we are in the world currently, I guess. I don't know. Their version of Hodor. <laughs> yeah, I guess, but he knows a few more words, right? further now but we're in the middle of the deadlands keen eye you the blight suck this place dry meaning no trees no birds and no magic but it also means no neighbors the last place anyone would think to look Sweet home. The hideaway. This place. These are fallen ruins. Well, we didn't think they'd mind. 
And it keeps the black from our lungs. But how do you survive without magic? How does anyone? Hard work and a bit of nerve. You must be starving. We grow them here, believe it or not. Hmm? Suit yourself. Now I You're want an apple. Ah, sorry. And this is the dominant. How cold since we found her. I was hoping you might give her a look over. All right. Goots, get her upstairs. Well, none will... Don't fret about Karen. I've taken care of her fee. All of it. She's the best healer this side of the belt. You've nothing to worry about. Go on. Have a look around. I'll be in my solar. Those guys seem too young to have Lorath's voice actor. I don't. I. I don't uh, see Sidolphus as young myself. He looks like he's been worn down quite a bit by combat and age. All right, local map opens detailed of the current area. Map scenario destinations are marked with red. Yes. Sid's Solar. Okay, let's go. You reckon he's a soldier then? Nope, I'm not a soldier. I have no idea what you're talking about. Just working on a pet project of mine. Though she's not above biting the hand that feeds her. All right. I was hoping we might try and solve the mystery of poor Clive Rossfield. A bearer of the San Brequa Imperial Army sent behind enemy lines. With orders to wait until it turned into a brawl, then slit the Dominant's throat in the chaos. I didn't know it was her. How could it be? And so, to save her neck, you slit your sergeants, then set your sights on the hills, conveniently forgetting how the Empire deals with deserters. Because with that on your chop, my friend, we both know you won't be getting far. You've fallen a long way, Lord Rossfield. Of it said that I'm a poor host. What do you mean to do with her? Do with her? Why nothing? Her life is her own now. If I wanted to use her, do you think I'd be talking to you? All I want to do is help. Dominance like her, branded like you. Of course, the realm doesn't approve, which is why we live in a cave. And it's also why we need help. From Brandy who know one end of a sword from the other. What say you, Clive? Will you join us? Sid, was it? I trust that you'll do right by Jill. But until my brother is avenged, I must walk my own path. Avenged? My brother was murdered by a second dominant of fire. The Phoenix is evil swing. Well, bugger me. Another rumor proven true. I only stand here today because of Joshua. Thirteen years I've waited for this chance. I've slept in filth, drunk from a gutter, killed more men than I can count. You're right. 
The Empire will not suffer a deserter. This will be my best opportunity. My last. Which is why you should join us. I told you I'm not... Interested, I know. One of my scouts sent word there's a group of branded fugitives north of here, in the Imperial village of Lost Wing. Among them is one he believes to be a dominance of fire. Is he certain? What say we go and ask him? This doesn't mean I'm joining you. Let's make ready then. Two long cutscenes? I mean, yeah, it's Final Fantasy though. You don't play Final Fantasy or even like look at Final Fantasy without expecting a lot of story. And through that story, there's gonna be a lot of dialogue and a lot of cutscenes. I mean, that's just, that's how it's always been with this franchise, man. It's an expectation here. That's just the way it is. Was it? Perhaps you can help. Sid asked me to make ready for our mission. How does one go about that here? Uh, well, uh, there's old Nan's place. Uh, oh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, you maybe want to see Blackthorn first. A blacksmith? To the forge it is then. All right, new weapons or upgraded oh, no, weapons? Hold up. You'll be needing this. Blackthorn won't take no notice of you otherwise. Might not anyway. Did you just give me a bunch of money or something? What was that? Surly Smith. Are you Blackthorn? What if I am? There's no time for idle chatter. I'm not here to talk. I'll be accompanying Sid to Lost Wing and I need you to see to my equipment. You could be accompanying the goddess Grieger to our holy bedchamber for all I care. I'm not lifting a finger for you. Is that so? Continental rum. That's what he gave me. Have this. Do you want that or not? I can take it back. Oh, damn you, goots. All right, all right. No need to be hasty. Let's have a look at you. <laughs> I doubt that lot could stay a Moogle's fart. Bloody Imperials. They'd rather see their bearers dead than kid it out properly. I'll do what I can. As a favor to Goot's mind. Okay, the crafting of new gear as well as the upgrading of existing gear can be done at the blacksmith as long as you have the recipe and the proper materials. Select a highlighted item from the list and hold X to craft or upgrade. Well, we can make an iron belt, 23 defense, and how about reinforce? I have nothing to reinforce. Alright, so I guess we don't do anything with weapons here. At least not yet. We have 12 out of 12 iron fillings for this, so why not? Why not? And the belt sees a square. You want anything else? You bring your own materials. I'll bear that in mind. Thank you. Of course, maybe that was just like the initial no freebie. Advice. Don't let Sid decide what's best for you. Let me speak to him again and see if there's some more choices. When something has changed in the hideaway, a notice will appear on the upper right-hand corner of the screen. In addition to stock upgrades for Karen's Toll and new forging recipes for the Black Hammer, there's also new notices for quests, new missives, and many other things. A gold icon will appear in-game as well as on the local map to indicate recent updates. I suppose I should thank Goots. Okay, he's got an update. Let's well, speak to him. So, what would it be? Ah, Broadsword. We can make a broadsword plus one. 
We need more Y-Ray. I'm three shy of that. I'm three shy of that. Damn it. I can make Broadsword plus two as well because I've got the Meteorite already. Damn, dude. I guess we'll just hold on to this for now. And... Crazy how every game copied the Dark Souls hub thing? No, the, the hub idea like this goes back way further than Dark Souls. This goes back to <laughs> much older games. The gift worked. You have my thanks. I, uh, uh, <laughs> Come on, nearly there. Blankets, quick as you like. <laughs> All right, we make it comfortable while the bed's made up. <laughs> well, you're just gonna stand there. Someone fetch some water. I'll get the bucket. You go and see if I don't needs out, eh? Yeah. Wait, me? <sighs> okay the then. I got myself into <sighs> curmudgeon. Nice. Who are they? Huh? They're freed Imperial bearers. Who the hell are you? <laughs> Shit, at this rate, you won't make it through the night. Think you can find your way up them stairs to the infirmary? We need Tyre. Well, go on. Shift your ass. Is Tyre the one looking after Jill? All right. Taria is all the way up here. Your friend needs her rest. There'll be time for tearful reunions when she's recovered. I'm not here for Jill. You're wanted downstairs. There are injured bearers in need of attention. Well, why didn't you say so? I just did. I did say so. Everyone's so angry. He's going to be all right, but I'll need to examine them both in the infirmary. My work's just begun. Another fine day at the hideaway. Do many of the bearers who come here arrive in this state? It's no easy thing, casting off your chains. By the time most pluck up the courage, they're already too far gone. These two here are the lucky ones. The name's Otto. You need anything? You ask me. Well, Otto, I do need some supplies. Do you now? Then Lady Karen over there will be more than happy to help you. Right. Oh, and thanks. Be seeing you. Not likely. I won't be staying. Is that right? Well, for as long as you are here, consider yourself welcome. You helped us today, and we won't forget it. Super Mario 64 Peach's Castle is a hub? Yeah, yeah. I meant the hub that had a dedicated forge guy, etc. I mean, that goes all the way back to like older RPGs as well, though. 
All right, quest. Keep an eye out for the green icon above the heads of certain NPCs. These indicate a quest that make a quest to offer. A list of current and completed quests can be viewed in the journal tab in the main menu. After completing a quest, quest objectives will appear in the to-do list located on the right side of the screen. Objectives for the main scenario are up to three, and up to three side quests can be displayed simultaneously. Any quest can be prioritized in the journal tab in the main menu by highlighting it and pressing X. Objectives for prioritized quests will remain displayed in the to-do list until the quest is completed or another quest is given priority. Priority status for a quest can be removed by highlighting it and pressing X again. The following hideaway facilities are now available. A Thousand Tomes, an ever-growing compendium for all things Valisthea. The Orchestrion, a personal jukebox for songs collected throughout the game. Both are, both are located in the Hideaway's Eatery. The Fat Chocobo and can be found in the local map by pressing the pad. Oh, these people. Okay. We can speak with Lady Karen. Great name. Great name. Let's do that. I need supplies for my journey to Lost Wing. Otto said you could provide them. What's that? Does the newcomer think it proper to make demands of a poor old matron before even introducing himself? <sighs> it's Clive. Well, Clive, I hear that dog is yours. Since he followed Sid home one night, I've seen to it that his chin's rubbed and his belly fed. Though I suppose that's your job now. Unless you lose him again. I won't. Not again. Thank you for watching him. So, were you going to buy something? What? You didn't think I'd shower your lordship with my hard-won wares while you swagger about with a pocket full of gill? Life doesn't work that way, lad. Now, let's see some coin. Both consumable items and gear can be purchased at shops around Valisthea. Shops... Shop stock changes as the story progresses, so be sure to check in frequently. Okay, so I can buy a broadsword here. For 500, how much do I have? How much do I have? I have 516. Well, let's see if we can uh, sell anything. We got the belt. I have these crafting materials and then just my potions and tonics. I'm not going to sell any of that. That's all. I wanted to check I out more there. A guilty name. Ah, the doggo. You're taking his side now. And after all I've done for you. All right. All right. I can make an exception. But just this once, mind. My stores are getting cluttered and I need to make room for the next shipment. Thank you. Thank me? Thank your dog. He's a good boy. Retrieve sacks. All right. Thank you for these. Whatever's inside of them. I don't know. What's up, wise Kuma? The Aret Stone? Aret Stone? Arete? I'm not sure how to pronounce this word. This customizable virtual battlescape provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities and train against all manner of enemies. Additional options will become available as Clive progresses through the story. All right. Hall of Virtue. Hone your skills in a customizable training area. Uh, I guess. I don't think I need to train, but let's check it out anyway just to see. Just to see. The Hall of Virtue is a fully customizable battlescape that provides Clive a safe location to test out new abilities. Yeah, you just said that. Press the pad to open the training menu to adjust both enemies and ally parameters. A virtual mugger. Nice. Alright. 
Let me take a look. Input display, invincibility, regen, bursting timers, enemy aggro. Let's change this to the to a Gygus. Hello, dude. Hello, dude. Okay, I've had enough. I this is just this is just strictly a training area. I don't think we need anything special here. Let's leave. What's up, Paul? I'm doing well. How are you? Yeah, we're almost at 300 likes, dude. Just about there. Good place to practice our combos and stuff as I learn more stuff. You all done. Hmm. Leaving already, are ya? Already? It's no, Madden, it's a single player lady, experience. It always is. Don't stop you going, does it? This should be fun. Right. I'm hoping it's not making me leave right now. Okay, good. I want to grab these side quests while I'm here. Open the world map. Use the world map to travel in previous words. Use the world map to instantly travel to previously unlocked locations. New locations are unlocked by progressing through the main story, discovering waymarks known as blue icon obelisks. The world map will open automatically upon leaving an area, but can also be accessed at any time via the main menu. All right, let's grab side quests and then we'll be on our merry way. Do you think we should go and help? No. Think I Kenneth! Ah, a new face. And, dare I hope, a willing pair of hands. The fat chocobo is a demanding mistress, and we are too few to keep her on her feet. Might I persuade you to deliver a meal or two to souls in need of sustenance? For your trouble, I can offer you the contents of my strongbox and my enduring gratitude. All right. 500 gil for this? I don't see why not. I don't see why not. Marvelous. And who exactly do I have the honor of addressing? Clive. Delighted to make your acquaintance, Clive. I'm Kenneth, and mine are the weary shoulders upon which the weight of this fine establishment rests. Now, I have three hungry customers awaiting their victuals. Take these if you would, and be careful. They're hot. Now I get to play waiter. Anguish hard? Yeah, my mind reads faster than my mouth can move. <laughs> How long has it been? Here you go, dude. Have one. Your food. I was hoping it might be. Well, doesn't this look fine? Thank you, lad. Yeah, dude, made it myself. You're new, aren't you? Yeah. This running your ragged already, I expect. The old rascal. Yep. I well, made the soup and then put it in my pocket. Say, Somehow it's still hot, my and my leg is not burned. <laughs> and so he should. We're not slaves anymore. Well met, lad, and keep up the good work. And here's some for you. Yeah. Oh, my thanks. <laughs> I hope you do not think me lazy for waiting to be served like a lord. <laughs> Only my former master did not use me kindly, you see. You left me half lame, truth be told. But Sid took me in nonetheless. <laughs> well, the hideaway is the home I never knew. And a mighty fine one at that. Okay, there's the jukebox. And then the last one is all the way over here. Have some soup, dude. Well, well. There's so much more to farming than just seeds and soil. Uh, your food. Just a moment. I need to finish this. I won't be a burden. I'm of no use to anyone as I am, but maybe if I can master this. All right, but see that you eat it before it gets cold. 
Of course. Thank you. Okay, job's done. Last one. I better let Kenneth know. Soup delivered, baby. All done, I presume? Splendid. They were bearers. All three of them. Not slaves waiting upon their master's pleasure, but... What's up, octopus? Men waiting to be fed like equals. Indeed. Equality is the very cornerstone upon which our little community is founded. One thing I don't like so far is the Beyond voice acting. Walls, I don't mind it, but I'm also, like, not a, a big stickler on it either. You know what I mean? To, eating only what scraps our masters deign to give us. The first hot meal here I don't go crazy is about the first it. many will have known. In the hideaway, we are free. Truly free to speak as we please, when we please, and to eat what and when we desire. They explain the cheek More mark? Reason enough to trust uh, I think uh, it's, it's like a so. mark of a bearer. Now. I promised you something for your trouble, did I not? The contents of my strongbox are yours to do with as you will. Hey, thanks, man. Thank you, Clive. Do come and visit me again. I don't you? know what the mark means, aside from maybe like a former or, or, you know, current or former servant of the Empire, I guess. is like a brand for them. Hey, some wire, right? Nice. That's actually really useful for me right now. Nice. Countless treasure coffers lie across the realm, just waiting to be plundered. If you find one, don't hesitate to kick it open. Okay, so this is one thing. I don't know why they explain things like this, but they don't explain other things. Hey, just a really weird choice to me. Badge of metal. Let's take a look at that. It also gave me 500 gil, which is nice. Badge of metal. Increases defense by 10. Nice. And all these other ones are just the easy mode stuff, so not worried about those. Okay, next side quest. Oh, hold on. Actually, guys, hold on. Give me just a moment. We can upgrade our sword a couple times here. I see I'm busy here. Use the forge. Yeah, that's also true. Uh, maybe that's Aqua. Aqua doesn't like it. English voice acting for Japanese games are always hit or miss. Yeah, and that, that that's always been like the way of it. No scratches, all right? I just, uh, like, I, I, I'm, I have a hard time portraying that idea myself because I just, like, I'm not, I'm I don't know, I've just never I'm been, like, a, I don't know how to say it without, like, I, I'm not big on judging it myself. Like, I know a lot of, a lot of other people That's care more than me, is what I'm saying. You know, I just, I just care less, awesome. personally. I appreciate good voice acting, but if it's not great, then it's, you know, Damn it. it is what it is. More wood. If I step away to fetch any, this lot will be down around our ears. Ah, you there. Perfect timing. Couldn't persuade you to fetch me some timber, could I? I get nothing for this. Okay, fine. I'd be happy to. Just I'd because be it's going to give me experience, you. okay? Oh, thank you. It better anyway. You'll be helping me and the hideaway both. It takes a lot of work to keep this place standing. <laughs> More than we can manage, if I'm honest. It Yo, David Albers becoming a member for. of the channel. Thank you so I much, David. Again. Thank you so much, dude. Craft, make no mistake, but not even their handiwork lasts forever. That's why the walls need shoring up. Can't have the uh, vegetable patch crushed before our first harvest now, can we? <laughs> no, I suppose not. All right, where can I find this wood? Ask over at the white ads. They'll point you in the right direction. Now, Aqua, I have to ask, what really about the voice that. acting do you not like? Do you feel like voices don't match? Do you, f I, like, I, I don't know. I Because I'm like a very bad judge of it, admittedly, I, I'm just curious what about it that it, what about it that you don't like? It just sounds weird to you? Okay. All right. I mean, that's fine. Like, I'm just, I'm just picking your brain about it, just out of pure curiosity. Because again, I'm a bad judge Excuse of it. Excuse me. The man working over by the garden sent me to fetch some wood. Ah, that'll be Jeffrey, Master Carpenter. 
Luck would have it, we've just finished cutting the timber he's after. You take as much as you need from the stack. Thank you. No, not at all. We appreciate the assistance. I do, I do think as well, though, I, like, I say I'm a bad judge of it, but I think, I think I'm a bad judge of it strictly because I've played so many different games throughout get this my entire life, including JRPGs. I, I mean, I played all the older Final Fantasy games as well. And, you know, when they started being voice acted and just seeing, like, the overall graphics alongside them and everything, and even, like, even the voice acting in this now, if you compare the voice acting in this now compared to, say, the original Final Fantasy VII, right? Obviously, it's going to be an upgrade just based on technology alone. And so I guess that's why I consider myself a bad judge of it, because my judgment doesn't really evolve with time because I'm always thinking about games that I played when I was younger as well. Oh, you're back. Hope fetching that wood wasn't too much trouble. Here's your wood plank, dude. Will this be enough? This will do nicely, thank you. With a bit of luck, the walls won't be falling in on us just yet. That sounds ominous. Oh, it's not as bad as all that. And it's a damn sight better than the alternative. We're safe, we're warm, and we're hidden. What more could we ask for? Now stop fretting and take this. You've earned it. Welcome to the fold. There's no need to... That's not a matter of need, my friend. You're one of us now. Quest complete. Hey, Thomas, good to have you here, man. Meteorite and gill bug. Okay. So even if I, um, even if I didn't pick up all that other stuff that I did, they'd be giving me the, me the materials to upgrade my sword here anyway. So that's kind of nice. All right, that is it for the side quests here. So now we can, uh, leave the area. Very nice. Very good. Harry Potter had English accents, but it was matching so well we don't even notice. Yeah, I also have an expectation of that there, too, because it is, you know, in England after all. Yeah, I do enjoy the music a lot. Yeah. The Great Wood. So deep and vast is the Great Wood, it serves as a defensive barrier between the Crystal Belt and the Holy Empire, while its denizens deter foolhardily foolhardy travelers from exploring the forest everlasting nights. Right, that makes sense, wise Kuma. Which days are you going to stream mainly? I don't really have like a day-by-day a -day schedule. I just kind of go and I, you know, make it known when I'm going to take a day off or something like that, Thomas. I told you we should have taken the Crystal Road. And I told you we're outlaws. Well, you want every bounty hunter in Storm harrying us from here to the Holy Capital. Besides, what's wrong with a shortcut through nature's splendor? Get off. The Deadlands claim more of the realm each day. And a place like this still exists is a miracle in itself. Blood flies and all. We'll be back in Imperial land soon. You all right? Never better. Hey, Jacob. Sounds like it. <laughs> that there is a fine hound. Soon took to hunting. Fearless as you like. It's good to have you back, Torkel. Now, we don't want to be caught in the forest after nightfall. I suppose not. Fanning Embers. Torgal has joined the party and will fight alongside Clive. Nice. Use left to toggle between item shortcuts and pet commands. The following three commands are available. Sick, heal, and ravage. The dog can heal me. Interesting. Alright. The accessory known as the Ring of Timely Assistance removes the need for giving Torgal commands. When this item is equipped, Torgal will attack and heal automatically based on the current battle situation. Did I right. mention the Bedeadly Beasts? 
they'll be deadly beast. Thank you, Jacob. I appreciate that. Uh, Devanus, I have no idea. How reassuring. You're welcome for that and the shortcut. How come I can't see anything on the screen? Stats, weapons, equipped, stamina. Is it different for every game? Yeah, every game has its own um, UI and heads up display. And when I enter combat or like when I swing my sword, you see everything pop up here. A lot of games have um, like an instance based scenario where it pulls up the UI like that when it, meet, when it makes sense to. But when you're just like looking at areas like this, they try to immerse you in the, uh, in the world a little bit by like hiding it until it makes sense to bring it up. Like right now, we just entered combat, and so it brought it up for me. Level up. We oh, that's Torkoal. Hey, bud. Hey, bud. What the heck? Did I find a dinosaur? What in good Grieger's name is he doing this far south? Looking for food. No more walls where he's from. The north was one of the first parts of Storm to fall to the Blight. Poor sod. I'd invite him over for a cup of tea if I didn't think he'd eat the dog. Okay. Let's try and stay out of its path. Remember when I said to the deadly beasts? Well, the shrubs in these parts are much better. I knew only thing to mention this now. Even the damn plants attack you in this game. <laughs> oh, that was a mistake. Hey, uh... Nice. Well, that's the underground sorted. I'll take it from here. Some more why right? We're right? Why rights? I don't know. More crafting material. After you. Thank you kindly. Yeah, same voice actor as Lorath Screamer. This will be on PC in a few months. Yeah, I wish it was on PC right now. The ruins. They're everywhere, aren't they? Some say there was a time they blocked out the stars. Down was the only way left for them to go. There's probably a lesson to be learned from that. Be honest, does it away. suck? No, it does not suck. <laughs> it does not suck. So far, anyway. For me, the only downside is the mass amount of cutscenes and stuff, but it's Final Fantasy, so I came into it knowing that was going to happen. You know what I mean? And while that's generally a common JRPG thing, I do prefer to see more action sooner, but it is what it is. It was an expectation. Hey, 
friend? Dragon Avis. I can say that. Doesn't have to be a friend after this. I didn't know you were going to attack there, sir. Definitely my highest stagger damage yet. That felt good. Got him. All right, Dragon Talon and Sharp Fangs. Nice. But yeah, I really enjoy the combat, actually. Must be a nest nearby. Keep your eyes open. All right, uh, heal me, pupper. Oh, the pupper cannot heal me. Looks like I can only heal the, um, that part of the health that looks like it's recoverable. Interesting. Interesting. Can I well, potion about it? I sure can. Steel silk. Come on, is there anything back here? Of course there is. What is it, boy? Magic ash. Okay, the dog can point things out. Why trust your own animal instinct when you have an actual animal at your side? If you are lost, hold down L3 and let Torgal point you in the right direction. At least one of us knows these woods. Thank uh -huh. you, Torgal. That's a good boy. Okay, so yeah, two things that are, like, uh, very glaring to me is the amount of cutscenes. I do feel like a lot more people, um, even here in our community, would be more inclined to actually try the game if they let you see the act more action a little faster. So maybe cutting down the amount of cutscenes for the first few hours, eh, I don't know, by at least a third, would definitely introduce people more to this type of game. Because, you know, a lot of people get impatient with just cutscenes and they just kind of bail. And then, of course, the uh, the cutscenes... I'm sorry, not the cutscenes, but the, uh, the quick time events I've never been a fan of ever. And that's certainly not going to be an exception here. Oh, damn. I didn't have that attack ready. We did what had to be done. Doesn't mean I have to like it. No. What's up, D? How you doing, no, man? True, true, but as we know, Final Fantasy games do open up after a while. Damn shame some folks never get to that. Yeah, I yeah, I will completely agree. And that's something that it just goes to show that pacing is very important and different people across the world appreciate different types of pacing. You know? Very true. Oh my god, we can pet the good boy. Come here. Oh, dude. Give him some treats. Nice. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> He's a good boy. It's not available on PC now. It is being uh, ported to PC, but that's something that'll, you know, be later down the road. Did I come through here? I can't remember. 
How long has Final Fantasy been live action? Last one I fully played was seven. Didn't like eight and never gave Final Fantasy another shot. Has it been like this for a while now? Uh, the last one I actively played was 12 and it was like, it was a, I can't remember the name of the combat system, but it was like timed live action where you had like a timer before in between your moves, but you could like move around at the same time. Dinosaur. That's all chaff. You better hope so. And now the game becomes Monster Hunter. So much for your shortcut. Oof. It's still short, just not quite as quick. But it'll be a downside quicker if you help me. I think it's exactly. Ah, that's got a bit of a delay to it. Okay. Yep. Oh my god, he just gave me the roll. I keep dodging that too damn early. This time. The big stagger. Spin cycle, oh my god, dude. No one knows. What's the name of the monster in Monster Hunter that does that move? I, doubt he'll do that again. I can't remember the name of it just now. Damn, that delay gets me every time. Heal me, boy. Oh, that tail strike. Damn. Oof. Damn it, man. Every time. Chaos. I'm here to kill chaos. Okay, that hit me. Alright, so his heal is a heal over time. Noted. That stagger just happened right on time. Beautiful. <laughs> Gnarled scales and more weir rides. Where the word chaos was repeated ad, na ad nauseum. That was, uh... I can't think of the name of it just now. Stranger of Paradise. Yeah, Stranger of Paradise. Stand back. <laughs> Man went lightning giga chad mode. What? The... <coughs> you're, 
You're dominant. I am. I. Well, not by choice, mind. Old bloody Rome of strapping young lads. And it was this sorry sack of bones, Ramu, who saw fit to home. Ramu. Sid. You say you want to help dominance and bearers. Well, what's in it for you? What's in it for me? The same as for all of us. What we want and deserve. Save for our knack, dominance and bearers are no different from anyone else. The ability to use magic or summon great beasts should command respect, but instead has left us outcasts. Our kind are used and discarded like tools, yet we are men, so why must we die as less? I see. So what you're saying is you want to start a war. <laughs> ah, you flatter me, lad. But my days as a firebrand are long behind me. No, I only wish to offer our kind a choice. A place where we can die on our own terms. Okay. You know, I actually kind of like Stranger of Paradise. I, um... It reminded me a lot of Fantasy Star. Fantasy Star stuff, man. That, that, was, that was that was just some good, like, giant monster defeating goodness, you know? Can I do anything with this guy? No? Alright. I was say maybe we could take some scales or something, but I guess not. Have a good night, Mythic Blue. I'll see you later. Thanks for hanging out today. Clive, what exactly do you plan on doing when you find this dominant in the fire? Hitch plays in Japanese? It? No, I don't do subs. I show him the mercy he showed my brother. And cut out the tongue of any man who tries to talk me out of it. All right. Forest dark enough as it is. If I knew Japanese, then sure, but I do not, so... He's called me a show off. I'm just killing the things, man. I don't want them to like sting me, being hornets and all, you know? And all this loot. See that river? Follow the upstream, and we'll be a lot of bringing help in the time. One thing that I do not like as well is once you lock onto a target, you can't change what target you're locked onto while it's active. It's a little weird to me. Like, I can't, like, move on to something else here. I missed that completely. Oh, yeah. God damn. Right, that felt good. Okay, I'm getting more in line with the controls. I am. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, dude. 
What's in the box? Yeah, big hornets at that, yes. <laughs> okay, I need to take a look at my abilities. I have some ability points. I need to see what's up. Uh, can I do a further mastering on this? No, I cannot. All right. No, I cannot. Hold on. What's this? Flames of Rebirth, 1695. Summon a massive pillar of fire that burns all enemies caught with the flames while also partially restoring Clive's HP. Oh my god. Heat Wave. Summon a projectile dispelling wall of liquid flame that's before launching several deadly shockwaves. Wave force is amplified upon dispelling magic. Ooh, Scarlet Cyclone has some good stagger build up going on. What would mastering this do for me? Increases shift distance. Okay. Increases hits. I'm going to level up Cyclone. I'm going to wait till I can get that. I really like the stagger build up, and that's when we can really lay down a lot of damage. I'm just going to keep saving up for that. We're going to play Elden Ring next week and get wrecked. <laughs> Overall, the UI is clean. It's okay. Um, yeah. I think it's alright. Like, how everything is positioned is nice. Yeah. Very readable. Not overwhelming. Quiet. The Royal Scout. Someone's far from home. Let's follow him. Huh? And? They're just down that way. All of them. Grieger's my witness. Excellent. We move. I, I, I don't understand. Have I not proven loyal? It is true my liege values loyalty above all else. But were you not quick to betray your countrymen for the promise of coin? intelligences if we can capture her you weapons on the ground imperials uh oh let's get this over with then Hello, friends. You made me miss. Uh, did he just, like, freeze there for a minute? That was awkward, right? Um... 
Nice. Cinematic Clash. When the screen flashes orange like this during a pivotal moment in battle, repeatedly tap square <laughs> to either press or fend off the attack. Like, why do why do we need quick time events in 2023, guys? Why do why do we do this? Who wants this? Just show a cinematic. Don't make me push buttons about it. Just do it. Yeah, spam square about it. Great. That's fancy. Yes. Not this time. See, like this right here, if they want to show a cinematic in the middle of the fight, that's fine. But then going for the quick time event? No. You lost me. Like, come on. That means there's failure animations? Yeah, probably. I just think it's a poor design choice, personally. Badge of Might increases attack by 7. Nice. We'll take those. Otherwise than that, the, the, the action's great. They thought we were Imperials. Well, you do look the part. Though you fight like a true shield of Rosaria, and one blessed by the Phoenix at that. <laughs> Speaking of which, I wonder, does the other icon of fire give blessings, do you think? You don't believe me. And lo, the Creator did make of the elements eight icons to serve as keepers of the One Law. Not that I've ever set too much store by holy doctrine, but on that point, it's clear. Fire has always had just the One Warden, as yeah, all the rest. Yes, A new one can't be born until the previous dies, and even that can take years. No, Mashitatsu, unfortunately not. The thing is, you don't strike me as a liar. Which leaves but one person who might be able to shed some light on the matter. 
there in a little swing. As are our Waluda friends, I would imagine. We should hurry before it gets dark. But what if someone discovers the bodies? Well, and they'll be sorely disappointed. I'm not sure, Scarecrow. Replay in arcade mode. Stage replay in the ar in arcade mode are now available in the hideaways. R8 stone. Enter the virtual battle scheme. Oh, okay. Another thing there. Gotcha. The training thing. Right. Next area. Orabel Downs. The idyllic plains that stretch across the southern reaches of the Holy Empire are sparsely populated unless one knows where to look. Some time later, the Holy Empire of Sandbrek. So much for arriving before sunset. Oh, I didn't realize we were this close. Any idea what that is they built the village around? The Fallen Ruin. I've heard some call it an airship. Though its flying days seem to be behind it. It's a shame, that. You truly think a dominance waiting for us in that village? My scout has never given me any reason to doubt him. Which is why I think we should hurry. Come on. Tuning with an obelisk allows Clive to travel quickly to the location via both the world map and local map. Clive needs only to approach an obelisk to attune with it. Well, that's nice. Louder than words. This isn't the first time I've seen one of these. Perhaps I can use them as way marks. Yeah, with quick time events, there's always the possibility of failure. I just think that it's an overall poor design choice in any video game. I've never liked them in any game that I've played that they exist. I understand what they're going for, but I don't think it should be in video games regardless. I just find it really jarring from the actual cinematic event that's happening. No, based on them having health bars, they're foes. to ask the next ones we meet. Let me know Fine, see if I buy you Dragon's Lair for Christmas. I mean, I'm not saying I haven't enjoyed games with quick time events. I mean, I'm still playing this. I wouldn't be playing it right now if I wasn't enjoying it. But it just comes down to... I think the game would be better off without it. That's all. That's it. crazy how fast-paced the combat is. I'm not used to that with Final Fantasy. It's just so action-oriented. I think that's why I find the quick-time events even more jarring in this. It's because it's so action-oriented, and then all of a sudden, just you have these quick-time events and these cinematic events, and I just... Ugh. <laughs> Anyway, I'll stop complaining about them. You guys get my drift. <laughs> you get what I'm saying here. I'm 
Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, so this is another zone. It has all this, like, open area to look at. I didn't find anything anywhere on that side. I don't see anything glowing here, so I'm just gonna go on. I will say as well, it is nice that he does break into a sprint after a few seconds of a uh, jog, so that way he can just traverse faster. Yeah, drunk gamer, yeah. No sign of the royalists. Or anyone else for that matter. It's too bloody quiet. Even for this hour. What do we do now? First we look for my scouts. You start here, I'll circle around the back. How do I let you know if I find him? Good question. Shout. Subtle. I don't even know what he looks like. All right, we need to explore Lost Wing. Anything cool up here? Doesn't look like it. Game's awesome looking. I do enjoy the atmospheres and everything going on. Yeah. The music is kind of insinuating there's going to be combat. Are you friendly or he's kind of wobbling? Oh, that's Sid. I thought that was someone else. Okay. <laughs> My bad, Sid. Exclusive to PlayStation for six months. Is that true? Uh, yeah. It is a timed exclusive. It's all right. It's all that frame drop in your pants of town. My yep. And I, we're, we're the Imperial Army. And we've come to help. Do you know where your parents are? In, in the church. Then I'm going to find them and make sure they're safe. Can you stay hidden here until then? To the church then. Also, this might be, I have a certain take as well. And let me preface this with saying that I enjoy that consoles get increasingly more powerful hardware every time a new console comes out. I enjoy that a lot because it just means that, you know, you get higher graphical fidelity and theoretically higher, you know, higher frame rates, theoretically. <laughs> Unfortunately, it seems like uh, they really have, a, have had a hard time capturing on that increased graphical, I'm sorry, not uh, graphical, but increased performance. And it's something that really marshes my mellow with, with consoles now. Because they're touted as to how powerful they are, and yet they seemingly cannot hold a steady 60 even when in performance mode. And that is extremely disappointing to me. Not saying I don't enjoy games on consoles, because I do. I'm clearly here now. I just wish that that were better. This man's gonna die if we don't get into a healer. Enough of your barking, dog! About time. Hey, Elvis, Star what's Rock. up? Who the hell are you? Clive! Yeah, real subtle. Thought you weren't coming. You still alive, Gav? <laughs> Barely. Been doing what I can for the villagers, but... I thought you were joking. It's all right. He's with me. Is this everyone? No. There were others. 
A pair of royalists came for the bearers just before you arrived. Was a dominant among them? Maybe. It's not like he was holding a sign. Guess where he's going. Clyde, after him. Oi, get back here. Get your ass back here. <laughs> it's a choice. <laughs> they want you to see all the sandwiches or whatever. True. Companion, it's only a matter of time before we seize our quarry. Very good. And what of the others? The bearers have been taken to Care Norvent. Some may still be worth keeping should the dominant elude us. All is in hand, my lady. They will not be spoiled. I give you my word. <laughs> Gentlemen, a toast! Will you join me? <laughs> My thanks. Uh, hey. To our lady of the wind. And the king! Uh. 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 The Imperials drink this piss? Well, it would go some way to explain their breath. <laughs> <laughs> lady Benedicta, Imperials! And instead of killing them, you lead the rat straight to us. Mercy! <laughs> Look what we have here, boys. An Imperial Bearer. Good. I was getting bored. Harpy of what sorts. Is that if this means what I think it does, oh. Sid has some explaining to me. Okay, I wasn't ready for that. It's fine though. We got this. I thought I dodged, but I guess not. All right, good stuff. Almost got that stagger going. And I failed you. All right, come here. Oh, no. Heal me, buddy. And I got greedy again. Oof. Too slow. It's 
over. Got it. Charada slain. Well, that should be our ability points. Cleric's medallion increases the healing potency of potions by 20%. Nice. We're right, sharp fangs, magic ash. You've got some fight in you, even for a branded. <laughs> Clive! <laughs> Look us here to save the day. Is this how you recruit all of your charges? Don't recall you complaining, Benedicta. So, Sidolphus, remind me, why was it that you betrayed your kingdom? I asked your question. Lord Commander. Oh. Why? Because I'd had enough of you and your king's antics. And yet here you are, stealing my branded. What are you plotting? As if I'd tell you. Benedicta, we have secured the dominant. Holy oh, something is there. And she's gone. Well. Say where she was going. No. Then we head back to Lost Wing. One of the villagers may have heard something. But we can't just. Which is why I sent Gav. The man has a nose for these things. Trust me. <sighs> What's up, Jay? How you doing? Haven't seen any crossbows or bows in the game yet? That's true. We have not seen ranged outside of magic. <laughs> so, it wasn't about bears at all. They were looking for a dominant. Yeah, that's right. Thought we were hiding the bastard. Fuck any of us would keep a monster like that under our roof. Oh, no offense. When no one talked, they started rounding up everyone with a brain. And then everyone without one and all. And locked you in the cellar, hoping sooner or later someone would break. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you know, things might have been different if you'd accepted my invitation. Oh, don't remind us. We were all saying the same thing. Yeah. Well, this is our home, innit? Yeah. Don't mean we won't help when we can, though. And that, I'll drink to. Oh, come hear the tale of Lord D on the boat, whose tamed worms a thousand and slain but tenfold. One hundred full legions the young dragoon led, and watched as a million foes turned tail and fled. His lance levels mountains, it spanned as the deep. Are graphics bad or is that my bandwidth? The graphics in this game are not bad, so I have to assume ba bandwidth. Revenge won't bring him back. It won't. Thirteen years ago, I watched a dominant kill my brother right in front of me. And I did nothing. But now I can. I can kill the son of a bitch. And bring peace to my brother's soul. After that, whatever happens, happens. Fate. You're content to be a slave, then.
what the hell, man? What are these noises? What the hell were these noises, man? Yeah, it's because it drops the resolution down in those moments, Wizikin. The Imperial host invincible. Yet here we find the Empire's cornerstone teetering on the backs of a handful of cowards and cutthroats. <laughs> There's also a really heavy film grain as well, which doesn't help. Well, Bahamut may lead a hundred full legions. Could it be that the young prince defends a house of cards ready to topple at the slightest breeze? Tell me something. Why do you not resist? Within we saw this hooded guy to slay gods. The just Phoenix before the other icon showed up. Flames. Yet you do not fight. You do not flee. You refuse your gift. Perhaps you are distracted. <sighs> My offer still stands. Join us and you will be treated with the respect one of our kind deserves. Oh. Lord Margrace, don't! I'll give you a moment to consider your options. Do be gentle with them. I've noticed she doesn't really clean blood off her blade. That thing's not going to last very long. You can see the pixels? No, those aren't the pixels. That's the film grain you're seeing. Yeah. Those are not pixels. <laughs> That's film grain. That's how heavy it is. You can see it specific specifically Climb. against dark things. What go? Gav's back. Canovent. One of the Empire's outlying strongholds, though apparently not strong enough to keep out the Royalists. The captured bearers are inside. I'm sure of it. If Benedicta's orders are to stay in the shadows, she won't be traveling with many men. Meaning, she'll be keeping her prisoners together and close by. Including the Dominant. So, we find a way into the fortress and conjure a bit of chaos. Uh, what about me? Excellent question, Gav. You will wait outside the care and guide those I free to safety. And miss all the fun? Why can't he do that? Clive doesn't have your nose. He'd stumble off a cliff before he even found the men. Come on, Gav. You're the best man for the job. Well, when you put it that way... <sighs> suppose I'd better scout ahead for any surprises. Don't you let him down. <laughs> I won't. All right. Shall we? Not so fast. We wait until tomorrow. But he, he's right there. And if we leave now, we'll arrive just as the sun comes up. Maybe join the guards in breaking their fast. Come on, Clive. They only just took the place. They'll be there a while yet. We've got one chance at this. You don't want to waste it, do you? No. All right, the dead of nights. As the story progresses, new weapons and items become available at the Hideaway's trading post, Karen's Toll, as will new forging recipes at the Black Hammer. Now that's settled, there's someone I want you to meet. At this hour. He's the owner of the tavern, and our best hope. All right, let's see. Uh, world map. 
Okay. I'm, I'm not so concerned about going all the way back there to look at that stuff right now. Let's see what the merchant what has. I interest you in today? Long sword. So it has five... Um, 95. Which is the higher starting point than the broadsword, I believe. I'm not so concerned about that. Imperial infantry blade, that's only 75. Oh no, I have that to sell. Yeah, let me uh let me sell that. There you go. Have that one. Could never have too many. You're always welcome here in Lost Wing. All right, hold on. I need to check Any out other things that he has to sell. Wolfskin sash. All right, that's a little bit better than my iron belt, but Imperial infantry bracers versus travel bands. The travel bands are better. But I I I, I don't know about you guys, but I always feel about this in video games. I don't want to buy stuff <laughs> this early on in the game specifically. Good just because I think we'll end up finding something better within, you know, the hour. Is there any side quests around? I do not see side quests here. Let's talk to this dude. Quentin, my good man. It seems we'll be spending the night. I thought as much. Where do you find that one? Oh, him? You won't believe me if I told you. Quinton here is an old friend. One who is sympathetic to our cause. Sympathetic? Then he knows about your little sanctuary. I would never have guessed so many people were bent on setting us free. When last I checked, the mere thought would only a trip to the gallows. I am well aware of the risks, as I am of the rewards. And what could be more rewarding than your very own dominant of fire? A dominant? Here? Now that I would like to see. <sighs> Meaning you haven't. No, but nothing passes unnoticed in Lost Wing. Take your brand, for example. People will see that at once. And I need hardly tell you how they will greet the inquiries of a bearer. You are afraid your words will fall on deaf ears. As they have ever since the moment you were marked. Happily, I can provide a solution to your dilemma. As a favor to Sid, that is. Take this. You will find it has the uncanny power to loosen tongues. The Hanged Man the from Quentin. This might be Imperial land, but here in Lost Wing, it's his word that's law. But how? You don't need to worry about that just yet. Trust me. Everyone in Lost Wing knows what that seal means, and what it means if they don't take note. Now we can sit here counting our blessings, or put them to good use and find that dominance. Your choice. Right. Let's see if this thing really works. Let's go talk to some people about some stuff, shall we? And that's all you can remember. Ah. Master Quinton took a lark into you, I see. And there I was, thinking you were in bed with Sid. Wonder what Gav will have to say about this. Speaking of whom, if you see him, tell him thanks for looking after us. Now, what can I help you with? I'm searching for a dominant of fire. Gav seems to think he might have taken refuge here. We see a lot bearers around these parts. But I do seem to recall one who commanded the flame. 
Now, whether or not that makes him a dominant, I can't say. But the Waludas certainly took a keen interest in the poor sod. Did you get a look at him? Didn't have a chance. One of the other bearers might have died. Thank you. Right. What's up, Master Lee? Love your videos? Thanks, man. Do you feel this game is too much of a button masher? The combat is pretty straightforward. It is, like, fun and flashy, but I am wondering how long that my mind is going to be, you know, set in that. The majority of it is just pressing square, but also you have to keep in mind that you do have the uh, the dodging mechanic, the parrying mechanic. There's the uh, the lunge. And then you have your, your abilities where you hold down R2 and press square and triangle for those. You know what I mean? So there's more than just square, but the majority of it is that indeed. That a hanged man, I see. Master Quentin must think you're important. It was a good thing you done today, getting rid of those bastards. If you hadn't come when you did, I'd be on my way to Ash by now, along with the others. Poor buggers. These others, was there a dominant among them? A dominant of fire? Might have been, yeah. Royalists seem to think there was, anyhow. A thin bloke all swallowed up in his robes like one of great Grieger's churchmen. Do you recall anything else about him? Feels like a first try at the style of gameplay. They did Strangers of Paradise, no? Only that he weren't alone. It was a young maid who went wherever he did, including the church. And wherever the royalists dragged them both off to before you got here. I see. Thank you. I wonder if Sid's found anything. Right. I don't know if it's the same team that developed that game, but... It is Final Fantasy all the same. You've got good news. So, a shady lad with a hood and his equally shady lass. Not much to go on, but. But. I've been thinking if our friend is a dominant, why not just burn the royalist to a crisp? There's a reason he's holding back. And I reckon he has something to do with his partner. What makes you say that? One of the villagers I talked to said the two were separated. If the Waludas have her, our dominants like to think twice before starting any fires. Whoever he is, he's shown himself to have a level head. He's careful, cunning, and he doesn't want to be found. This could spell trouble. For us and the Royalists both. <sighs> Still, it'll be a whole lot worse if we set off after them with bleary eyes and empty bellies. Yeah, it was Team Ninja, you're right. Waiting for us back at the inn. Shall we? It was Team Ninja, but something you have to keep in mind as well is a lot of people will see the uh, the game and what it's you know what it's on. In this case, Final Fantasy, and so they're always they're they're going to see that you know the, it's already been done in in one way or another. those beds they're all separate things Alfie. i seem to recall your request being to spend the night and for that the floor will more than suffice better than a wet rock i suppose <sighs> my thanks quentin next time you're at the hideaway our floor's all yours no need for thanks sid this isn't an act of charity you don't say in exchange for my floor I shall be requiring your services. The Royalists saw fit to erect a barricade across the road south when they occupied the village, and failed to remove it when they left. I expect it to be gone before you leave. As you wish. He's got a job for us. You were joking? All right. There, there's, there is a lot of confusion around that, though. Like, people are like, how long has this one story been going on? <laughs> First time dismantling the barricade? It gets easier. Don't worry. I won't. 
If we leave now, we'll arrive at the care when the shadows are at the deepest. Unless you'd rather wait. No more waiting. The road's south, then. Unless... I know of another shortcut. You should be so lucky. Make for care, Norvents. All right, let's go. Get me out of this town. I don't want to sleep on the floor. Am I done with Diablo? I mean, I got to level 100 on my Necromancer, and I may check it out in the future for seasonal content, like I explained. You know me, man. I play all sorts of games. I do not stick with one game, and I pretty much completed mo majority of what there is to do outside of the Echo of Lilith, but I'll be putting some time into that on the side and see if I can get a build together to defeat her. If the Royalists were looking to take the care that have posted centuries to prevent any unwelcome surprises, at least I would have. Well, you should know. Nice, he breaks into that sprint. Wrong way, friend. Damn, that does the big damage, man. Alright, I should have plenty for ability level ups here. What now? Yes, we already know this. I wanted to level up, what was it? This one? Yeah, we wanted to upgrade this. Let's do that. What's up, B-Hits? Hope you're having a great day, too, man. Thanks for stopping by. Do I enjoy cutscenes a lot? I mean... Why take a stronghold sometimes? Of holding? When there's no intention of holding it. The king is up to something. The king? Well, you don't think they're acting on a whim, do you? It's very dark outside. This is one of his majesty's cunning stunts. And he sent his best to execute it. There they are! It's That's enough! Stay down! Alright, you should be able to finish him off, right? You got this. Oh, are you kidding me? Sir, what you did there is not very kind. I will say this game does need a hard mode. Yeah, the fact that there is not a hard mode right out the gate is kind of disheartening. <laughs> Care, Norvins. Hard not to crack even when it isn't crawling with royalists. I don't care who else is in there. I knew it. It's over. There you go. That's Final Fantasy mode on completion. You got to think about. You, you just, you just got to think about in general, though, like that type of difficulty for an action game. If it's not going to be like a, a Souls like where it's just intentionally difficult, then there needs to be a, like a, a difficulty that's higher. For people like me. Much as I enjoy battering down the front door, I hazard this endeavor will require a bit more tact. There's an old sluice that empties under the bridge. It should see us through to the lower levels of the care. Sid. We both know why I'm here. But what is it that you want? Why would you risk your life 
for a handful of outcasts. If anyone ever learned what you've been doing with their property... They got my head in a box. But this isn't just about dominance and bearers, it's about all of us. What I want is to build a place where it doesn't matter what you are, but who you are. But our world isn't ready for a place like that. So, until it is, I use the power I've been given to show people there is hope. So, tell me about this, Benedicta. The best and worst decision I ever made. Don't underestimate her, Clive. A fight with her icon is not one you're likely to walk away from. Garuda. Warden of the Wind. All right. Care Norvents. Once used as a stronghold, the Holy Empire has since disgarrisoned this strategic position along the neutral crystal belt and now employs it in the training of Imperial Army recruits. fallen. The eastern territories all but belong to the orcs. I'll have my men ready to depart by noon. Don't bother. But what of the mines? Without adamantite... The light would have engulfed the mines ere long. Besides, you already have your orders. Yes, my liege. The dark swallows more of the realm with each passing day. The land starved of the ether that gives it life, and as the fringes fade, the people flock to the Mother Crystals, desperate for their blessing. The war we wage for possession of that blessing, it breaks us from within, hastening us to our own destruction. And so you do what must be done. I unite the dominance, that we may bring an end to the strife and found a new order to see us unto tomorrow. The world must be restored, and I will see it so. You might have already had Sidolphus not betrayed us. Him again. Lust you still for his embrace? But... of course not. My liege. I serve you. And you alone. I remember well the day you first entered these halls. Your pale hand pressed into his, as if he would never let go. That... that was a long time ago. Yours... is the only hand I need. Always. Soon, my dear. Soon all will know whose hand it is that keeps them from falling into the darkness. Hold me, my leash. Never let me go.
One of our sentries has failed to report, milady. Your orders? Pull the men back inside the care, Geralt. He is here, then. Have them lead Sid and his little pet to the chapel. I shall entertain them there. <sighs> What's up, Akapod? So you've come for me after all. All right. All right. Now we're in a very dark area. Headwind, it says. That's a nice trick. You'll have to teach me sometime. Noise. Does the game have autosave? I assume it has autosave. Was well, it make manual save as well? Guys, this is where we're going to stop off for the day. I'll be back again tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern time to pick up where we left off here. It's been, a, it's been an okay time so far, and um, lots of cutscenes. I feel like I've only played the game for maybe an hour and a half or so. The rest has been all cutscenes, but they, you know, we kind of knew that going in with a Final Fantasy game that it was going to be this way. So we'll pick up tomorrow, and I'm assuming there's going to be a lot more action because we're beyond that initial, like, four hours, which is generally where most of that type of stuff is. So we should be able to open up into some more action here very soon. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in today. I hope you enjoyed your stay in the stream. Thank you for leaving all the likes. We are almost at 350, which is nice for a new game. I appreciate your company, guys. And I hope to see you here tomorrow for more. It'll be a good time to have you here and check out more of the story with me. Thank you guys for all the likes and the, the comments and the subscribes, all that stuff. I appreciate it, guys. And I will see you tomorrow. Until then, be excellent to each other. Good night, everyone. <laughs>